Kate looked elegant in a burgundy skirt and jacket for the university visit, mirroring the Duchess of Sussex who wore the same color for her engagement this morning The Duchess of Cambridge learned about Narashan's research during the visit UCL said on Twitter, the Duchess of Cambridge has arrived at UCL to visit developmental neuroscientists at Occlapals to learn about their groundbreaking research into how environment and biology interact to shape the way in which children develop both socially and emotionally at Kensington Royal It comes after Meghan returned to the community kitchen this morning, where she made a number of secret trips ahead of the release of a Grenfell charity cookbook in September Meghan looked radiant in a club Monaco coat and matching dress. During her 45-minute visit, Meghan saw the progress the kitchen has made since the Together cookbook went on sale The Duchess of Sussex was excited to get involved as she donned an apron and gloves before mixing vegetables with her hands Meghan introduced Chef Claire Smith to the volunteers in the kitchen, who described Prince Harry's wife as a foodie She said, she's really into food, she's a real foodie. And women at the kitchen congratulated Meghan on her pregnancy Alam Syed said that Meghan's baby would be considered their grandchild. She said, I told her this is our grandchild, we are so happy The whole community. And she is so happy. And Munira Mamet said, I told her I can't wait to cook for you after you have the baby. One of my projects is cooking good food for mothers after they have their babies. Megan was given a traditional Ugandan cloth to wrap around her stomach in the months after she gives birth. Ms. Mohammed added, much of what we are doing is based on tradition. I thought what could be better to get her than the wrap. She was over the moon, she was really happy. The cookbook, which features more than 50 recipes from women whose community was affected by the fire, has sold almost 40,000 copies in the UK, raising £210,000. Megan previously described the work as a tremendous labor of love.